Oh, there he is. Oh, oh yeah, I just got crushed. Crushed. Like, that's a good fish. Oh. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel and thank you guys for tuning into today's video. I have something a little bit different planned today. I've done stuff somewhat similar to this, but today's a little bit different. We're actually going kayak fishing with live shrimp. I don't think I've made a kayak fishing video in a long time, so I'm really excited to make that today. I think it's a really good one, so you guys are gonna wanna stick around for it. But first, comment of the day is now popping up down below. So if you guys wanna be featured in the next video, all you have to do is drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you guys are new. But without too much talking, guys, let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you guys the rig, the line, how I rig shrimp, all that stuff when I get there. You guys are gonna wanna stick around for the video. I'll see you guys out there. Whew. All right, let's throw this little shrimp out there on a Tic Tac jig or a yellow tail jig. That's what they're actually called, 20 pound liter. And we're gonna see if we can't get some fish. Oh, you're fighting him backwards, dude. Probably a red, looks like a red. Yeah, I knew that. You can tell by the head shakes on the rod. Maybe they're out in the middle more. Yeah, the tide's not really flowing anyway. Yeah, I think I'm getting one too. Oh, there you go. I think. Yeah. There he is. Trout, I think. Running right towards me. Yeah, little little baby trout. Come here, bud. Oh, easy release. Good grief, those things are nuts. It's actually better just to like let them tire out a little bit. Or else they freak out, get slime all over you, lose your slime coat. Alright. It's got a, we just got two out of three of the slam in like yeah, 10 quickly. seconds. I was going to say, this could be the quickest slam. <laughs> yeah, it could be the quickest slam ever. Yeah, so they're out in the middle, it seems like. I don't know. Choking right through the tail. There we go. I'm already, you got to be kidding. Dude, there's so many fish right there. I think it's a snapper Good. running with it, maybe? No. Please be a snapper. No, there's another trout. Dude, there's a trout hole out there. Oh my gosh. Barely hooked, he might pop off. What's Brett got, trout? Yeah, there's, dude, there's a lot of trout out there. He's barely hooked, he might pop off. My hand's already wet. There we go, second fish of the day. See you, buddy. Your line is running. Another red or a trout? Nah, trout. There's a lot of trout. Jeez. That looks like best one of the day so far. They're nuts. They're wily. Oh, oh yeah, I just got crushed. Crushed. There he is. Another trout. Good grief, dude. It's gonna be a trout kind of day, I guess. Come here, bud. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Here we go. Another little trout. See you, buddy. Hopefully, catch something different today other than just trout. Oh, let's fling that right back out there. Oh my gosh, it didn't even. Dude, I think that's a lady. Yeah. Or a snook. I couldn't even tell. Nope. It's a lady. I didn't even get a chance to dude, chill out. Good grief. Good luck with that. Yeah. yeah. These guys are always fun. Come on, man. Come on, man. They're going straight out, I think. I don't think they're going out, out yet. Oh, my dude. My bail wasn't even closed. I, like, good grief. Oh, my gosh. They're getting better. Just need a need a gator size one. That'd be pretty cool. Here we go. How many is that? Four? Five? I don't even know. Shrimp are not lasting long today. Oh, you son of a gun, man. I think I pulled it right out of his mouth. Where are these sons of fishes at, man? What's going on? Like, seriously. I haven't had a significant... Never mind. Hold on. <laughs> ah, dude, I can't do these snapper. They're all too small to catch, I feel like. I mean, they hit it kind of hard and then they chew on it and then, I mean, that feels like a better fish, but at the same time, just you set the hook and 
you set the hook and they're just not there. Like, do you have it? Do you have it? There you are. Maybe it's not. Unless it's, yeah, no, it's not. No wonder he had it. It's a little red. There we go, there's two out of three for me at least. Redfish and trout. Just need that snook. And get a backwater slam. There go, just a little baby rat red right there. Nice pretty blue tail. Gonna send this guy on his way. Two out of three, need a snook. Let's see if we can't get that. He ate the little shrimp actually, like the little, like a really small one. I thought it was a mangrove. I mean, it just shows that like, even though there's a bunch of mangrove in there, still there's still reds, there's probably still sheep's head. I'm just gonna try to get one actually. I'm kind of dedicated to catch one now. I think he has it. Nope. Your pen would be okay. Dude, I'm gonna, I swear, if he's still running with this thing, Gotcha. Gotcha, you little booger. Yeah, it's exactly what. No, it's pinfish. Or no, is it? Oh, it's that's... baby sheep's head. Oh, that's... that's what's stealing our bait. No. Dude, yeah, huh? I swear. No way. It's these little suckers right here. You little stinker. All right, well, that's species number three. Four if you count Brett's black drum, but. Dude, oh my goodness. I knew. I thought it was a big pinfish at first. That's why we can't hook them. When they're, all, when they're that little, they're all bone. Their mouth is like. A rock. Look, now they're not biting. The sheep said down there saw that and they were like. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Still have it? Gotcha, booger. I think that's a black drum. I think that's, that's either a good red or a black drum. It's exactly what it is. Black drum. Told you. you little son of a gun. Now that's species number four for me. Trout, redfish, black drum, and sheepy. He was hooked outside of the mouth. There we go. He's bleeding a little bit. We'll send him on his way. There we go. They're still flowing through. What we're doing is we're fishing an outgoing tide, and we found this like tidal pool kind of thing where it's a lot deeper right here. So we're just drifting live shrimp, and it's pretty easy. Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of finding the fish and having the right gear for them. So taking the shrimp, hooking them right through the tail. 20 pound leader, 2,500. Seven foot medium light, and we're just tossing it out there. And you just missed one. Right. Oh boy, that felt better. Kinda. What is this? A baby sheep, what do you know? I told you. It's these little suckers down there. They're just having a grand old time with our baits. Here we go. So pretty when they're little. They're like really, really colorful. They get bigger, they lose their vivid colors a little bit. I haven't even gone through a whole battery of GoPro yet. That's the crazy part. All these fish have been on one battery. They are, I saw them. Brett is a mess, look at him. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's better. Dude, I knew when that hit. I was like, that's a good fish. Oh, I think that's a drum. I think, I don't know, that or a big, dude. Now we're talking. What do we got here? I love I love when I don't know what it is. Oh, I have an idea. I feel like it's a big drum. Oh, it's a sheep. Oh my God, it's a sheep's head. Dude, oh, dude, oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, get him in the boat. Lift that thing, lift that thing. Watch your legs though, watch your legs. Oh my, here, put up here, put up here. Oh my, dude. Nice. What in the world? Okay, he's gotta calm down. He's like a spiky ball of death right now. That's about the size of the one that I saw over there. Well, people are killing me for letting this guy go, but that's what we're gonna do. There he goes. Starting to rain, it's great. Probably be sunny in like 20 minutes knowing Florida, but. All right, so as you guys saw, it was sunny when we got there. And just about at the end of the trip, we were running low on shrimp, just a little bit low. And all of a sudden it started pouring right after I caught that big sheep's head. And that's just Florida. Florida's like that. I made a joke earlier in the day. I was like, watch it just start raining. And it did. So we ended up having to leave 
which wasn't too bad because we had caught a bunch of fish anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was uh, it was very fun fishing. Live shrimp's always so much fun. I hope you guys learned something about rigging live shrimp. I really recommend checking out those hooks, the yellow-tailed jig hooks. I'll actually leave them in the description so you guys can check them out. They're made by Mustad. Um, they're just really, really great hooks. They stick them really well. They're sharp. They're small. They have a little bit of weight, but not too much weight. And that's why I think they're just the best shrimp hooks. So you guys want to check those out, I'll leave them in the description. But thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. There's a dog barking in the background. We're just going to walk this one act like that didn't happen. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment for a chance to be featured in the next video. I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.